Welcome back to part two of the Trump presidency um, unexpected Sibylla reading that I got this morning. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so we left off on the widower card and um, basically telling me that Trump is not going to feel liked, is going to be for, very, feel very disliked not only by the people, but by his own party during his presidency. This is going to cause him to feel even more isolated and alone and less, um, less concerned with the needs of others, especially protesters. The more he is protested, the more difficulty he will have um, interacting with people. And, and you know, I, I believe there'll be more clashes, more, maybe more tweets, you know. He, he won't be able to help himself. He just is a knee-jerk, he has knee-jerk reactions to um, criticism. Also, um, I see that... Um, Someone that he counted on for support will not be there for him in some way. And uh, his feeling um, uh, more and more solitude, isolated, and alone. Now, I don't know much about, I don't really follow Trump. I, I um, No offense, but... I'm Scorpio, and I, I, I see through lies like that, so I just can't stomach too many minutes of him on my screen. That's just my personal opinion. But um, I have heard rumors that there's something going on in the marriage. And I didn't know this until today, until I read this to my mother, and she confirmed that Melania doesn't want to live in the White House. I didn't know that when I read these cards. I didn't know that. But um, but it, the cards also depict that um, someone's moving away, that there will be a separation or an estrangement in a love, that this in this man's love life, an absence of some kind, a growing apart due to incompatibility, arguments, separation, resentments. I think I mentioned a third party earlier, but I don't remember in what context, but I, I believe that I did. So, allegedly, the cards are saying, um, yeah, he's going to feel alone on so many fronts. So maybe that's why he wants his family so close to him, because he doesn't feel supported at all. But he's not even supported by a family. He just doesn't know it. So this card further goes on to describe a void, feeling a void or a loss of some kind. And I feel that that also is just, just, just describing how, you know, the general, the majority of Americans feel. They feel like something's lost, especially with Obama leaving, you know. It's a void. He, he left... Um, He's, there's big shoes to fill, big shoes to fill, and, um, yeah. So, the card goes on to mention, and, and I, like I said, I don't, I don't, I'm not too much of a political person, I just follow... Um, the general things, I don't know, you know, deep detail about what's going on, and which is wrong. I shouldn't do that. But um, as far as financially, it's right now, the country's not doing that great financially overall abroad. So that's mentioned, the economy is something that he wants to work on. I believe the economy is going to be um, a major goal for him. But next to the, um, below this card is the sick man card. 
the uh, four of spades in reverse. Now, this looks this is a sick man, so maybe it's the hospital, and the casa upside down can represent a hospital. So I believe this is talking about, and also the man resigning. This is talking about Obamacare, guys. So as far as Obamacare... Um, What is what are his plans for Obamacare? The um, what's going to happen with Obamacare? Based on these cards, it says that uh, that it's it stops, but it doesn't end permanently. What does that mean? I don't even think they really know. This is just my interjection. I don't even think they really know what to do about the whole uh, health care initiative. So I think maybe um, they're going to try to maybe, maybe those, this is just a potential. This is, Again, this is my, just my interjection. Maybe they won't allow people to, new members to sign up. Maybe people who have Obamacare or existing conditions will continue, be able to continue their, their, um, their coverage. So it says it, it doesn't end permanently, but it does stop in some way. Okay. This card also further represents the feelings of Trump. And it says that, or or the um, character of this man, because it says that this man is prey to vice, prey to his lower passions. Next to the um, happiness card, the man is drinking, so he is someone who's prone to vice, some sort of vices, um, and lower passions. Take from that what you will. This card also depicts someone who doesn't have any faith. They actually don't believe in God. And I think a lot of people have been misled to believe that this man believes in God. I don't believe that Trump believes in God. I, I honestly don't. And I'm just telling you the cards say he's an atheist. Um, this is also a card that represents uh, coldness and disinterest. So there's a cold disinterest regarding this health care initiative, keeping it going. There's a cold disinterest in who it benefits. There's a cold disinterest in Overall, the nurturing and care and needs of the people. But it does say something very positive. I'm not going to say just negative things. Again, this is not a biased reading. Um, I threw these cards out arbitrarily just to tell me what my weekend would be like. I didn't ask for this reading. I just got it. So next to the widower is the Fortuna card. This is a card of great great good fortune blind luck it seems but it's not really it's not blind luck it's a card of karmic luck deserved luck okay so a lot of people think oh how the hell did he become our president um there's stuff you don't know but um karmically this is faded Guys, this is meant to be. We have to go through this, this period. Don't ask me why. I don't have the answer. <laughs> we have to go through this. As a country, as a world, this is faded, and he's, he's the guy to do the job. So thank you, Trump. You, 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 at least you, you know, you stepped up to do this job. I don't think it's going to be a good one. All right, as far as financially, his plans for the country. 
Um, he definitely wants to get the budget back on track. He wants to um, increase America's standing in the world financially. And um, reduce spending. Um, and I do see he has great plans to do that, and I actually do see that through some events, some unlikely events, some fortunate events, we will see an increase in the economy during his term as president. So that's positive. So it might, it, this card also depicts the sick man in reverse. A stagnant situation, I'm thinking this is, is, is in regards to our financial standing as a country. A, stag, a stagnant situation will end, you know, so we'll get the, I, I feel like with the wheel it's a movement card. Get, we'll get the economy moving in a real good positive direction. So I do think he will, that is his endeavor. I do think he will do that. I don't know how ethically he'll do it, but I do think that we'll see those results. I don't think so. I, by the, based on these cards, I see that happening. Now, the card in the middle of the deck is the Fortuna card, and that's a really special card. It's one of the two uh, most special cards in the Sibylla deck because it has the ability to change something negative to change a negative reading into a positive reading, to nullify the negative effects of um, bad cards around it. So all is not lost, you know, those of you who are fearing, including myself, what this president is going to do to our country or how this president is going to affect us. This is ordained. This is this is this is the chosen. This is our chosen president. Actually, he's been chosen uh, by more than just the people who thought they they put him in office. This this is actually God's plan. According to these cards, we just we can't see God's plan. We try to look with the the you know the spyglass. We try to see God's plan for us, but we can't see. We can't fathom all the steps involved. But he's, he's got a part to play in the destiny of America. And it may not be all bad. I'm not seeing how that's going to be revealed yet, but um, stay tuned. for surprises. And this card could also just be saying, yes, it was a surprise win. He's surprised to the entire world, surprised to, to him, in fact. And it could just be referring to that. But I also see it also supporting the um, reverse sick man, meaning our economy will get better. Our economy will um, improve. Its health will, Im will improve. He will most likely um, try to block or stall the growth of Obamacare, but I don't think he's going to be able to get rid of it entirely. So the, um, the Fairview card, which is the Three of Hearts, the woman on the plank looking out through the spyglass that's reversed or upside down, she represents a, a few things. She represents the arrival of our new president. I believe, um, like I said, at the time I laid these cards out, he was actually having his parade being inaugurated. She represents um, that um, surprising change of events will soon arrive or occur. 
I believe that we're going to get some breaking news soon, but I'm jumping ahead. Um, what else does she represent? She represents that the world is, we're looking at the world, we're, um, we, we are, we're aware, and, and we need to be aware that the world, most of all, the world is looking at us. Gee, it I, took me a while to say that. The world is looking at us with a sense of trepidation, with a sense of trepidation and a sense of um, anxiety. And um, suspense. This card also also represents the spy. Could be like spy organization, CIA, FBI, that sort of thing. So I see um, through this card investigation, investigation of our president, investigation of m secret meetings. We have the, the Oval Office or the uh, secret presidential rooms or that represent secret meetings. These are being investigated. I also see very subtly even our, our beloved President Obama, those who love him, call him the beloved of President Obama, at least I do. Even he's being investigated. I've, I, I sense from these cards that they're wanting to uncover something on Obama. Maybe to damage his legacy because it's very bright. And I say that because the, um, the card above the fair view is the, um, the seven of hearts. And the Seven of Hearts depicts a, a refined gentleman in an office. This is a very learned man, a very educated man. <laughs> oh my God. This is a lawyer, a judge, and Obama's a, a, a he studied law, right? <laughs> Between 40 and 55. So I'm pretty sure this is also, rep this is representing Obama. And he's next to the president card too, so um, so the Grand Signore is the presidential office. The Falsita represents Trump, and um, the Letterato or the scholar, the um, the gentleman in the office with uh, next to the bookshelf, he he's um, Obama. So this represents someone who's a um, very learned, possibly a lawyer, a judge, has to do with the law, and um, has a very high a very high IQ and intellect, and a great mental capacity for learning and studying. Someone who's so creative in mind, they're they're like an artist. This is someone who's highly respected and recognized and will and has a great reputation and linked to the Fortuna card and the, to the um, to the uh, reverse sick man um, this is in time the world the country will recognize uh, the um, good results that Obamacare will bring to the country. So let's all do what we can politically to keep it intact so that it doesn't go away entirely. Because that is his legacy. And the Fairview card below him shows that they want to they, meaning the party below, the party below that actually um, as, as, as feels they ascended Trump to the throne of presidency, they want to smear the 
the legacy of Obama. Wish I could point to the cards while I'm talking to you. I have to get a camera. They want to smear his legacy and they want to smear his his reputation. So he's under um, surveillance. He doesn't even know it. He probably knows it, but you know, they're just looking to catch him on something. They have Trump under surveillance. They have Obama under surveillance. Wow. And through this surveillance, there's going to be a breaking news shortly. I feel within the first year of this presidency. What do I mean by breaking news? Um, a secret. The card next to the letterato or the scholar is the stanza card. And it means the 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 room. And um, this is the Ace of Diamonds in the Sibylla deck. This card can represent many things. Great sex, by the way, but not not in this reading. <laughs> Wait a minute, I did ask about this for my weekend reading. Forget that. Um, this card represents many things. It represents secret affairs. It represents sensitive information, conversations, confidential, classified information. I'm reading this from the book, guys. I'm not making this up. So next to the three, uh, three of hearts, the Fairview card, it means breaking news. We're going to get a surprising secret reveal I think through his investigation, we're going to learn something about some secret meetings, some espionage. It's going to turn up something. We're all going to hear about it. The whole world's going to hear about it. The whole world's going to be looking. The whole world's going to be paying attention. Hmm. And when it happens, his own party will begin to snub him. This is in the first year, I think. Now, I'm not really good with time, but um, I think this is going to be within the first year. I'm not saying I'm not good with time, but I didn't depict a time frame, so I don't know exactly what time frame I'm in. I know we're, we're in a four-year presidency, so uh, I'm saying within the first year of this, of this term. Things will be rapidly coming to fore. Hmm. And secret dealings will be uncovered. Now this next card, I believe this represents not only Trump, but I believe it represents, I think it represents Vadim, Vadim, I can't say his name, Putin. I'll just say Putin. Um, and that is the, uh, <laughs> the king of diamonds in reverse. And this is called the merchant in, um, a mercante in Italian, a merchant in English. And in reverse, this card represents a swindler, a con man, a mobster, a loan shark, a tyrannical boss, a businessman not to be trusted. So that's, I think that's Trump, guys. And the definition of the card says when it's near the two of spades or the three of hearts, it indicates someone who's like a sleazy second-hand car salesman. So I looked through the cards. I'm looking for the, <laughs> I'm looking for the two of spades. I don't see the two of spades, but oh, 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 wait a minute. Here's the um, the three of hearts. So, there you go. Um, to further describe this person, he is someone who is completely unreasonable. At his best. He's someone who lacks common sense, 
to make good business decisions. He gets lucky a lot. He's lucky. The Fortuna card. But back to Mercante, reverse. Someone who um, makes makes uh, business decisions that can cause heavy losses and unnecessary expenditures. Now we know that from his past. I am seeing that through some course of events, he'll make some good investments for the country, overall, economically. But uh, he's not this great, savvy businessman. He, he, he loses a lot. You know, he... Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to get into all that. Um, now, why do I think this is Putin as well? This card also indicates someone who's a fierce competitor. Russia has always been the competitor of America. Someone who uses sleazy tactics to steal other people's clients. And it's below the Fairview card. Someone who steals, who spies, espionage. And I didn't I mention hacking before? So I really believe that this is Putin. And this is the person who he has, has had secret dealings with. With the... Um, the Stanza card above. I think that's going to be the breaking news that we get in the first year. I think that investigation is going to reveal something along those lines. This card warns of secret treaties. And when this comes out, it's going to definitely, it might lead to impeachment. This president might have to resign. If this comes out, this president will have to resign. It represents a situation that is moral, morally corrupt. This is someone who exploits others while they get richer and richer off the hard work of others. A cruel taskmaster master, and someone who has no compassion and no remorse in their heart. Someone who deals with contraband, illegal businesses, forced labor, and exploitation. And I didn't want to say this, but when we say lower passions earlier, that Trump has lower passions, prone to vice and lower passions, a lot of people believe Putin's got something on him wonder what that could be. Maybe that's what will get revealed. This is someone who's ruthless and brutal. This is also the card of the... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Someone who's involved with a lot of... Um, underhanded practices, let's just say. Yeah. And the final card that I pulled out was the stanza card, and that card represents the um, conclusion of the reading or the, the outcome of, the, of this presidency. So I, I didn't see it before, but now that I'm reading it, I think that um, that uh, I think that 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 this presidency might end abruptly through um, secret dealings uncovered that may may lead to the resignation of this president from office. And this could be something that is actually ordained and brought to fruition by his own party. Because I'm seeing the stanza in direct diagonal alignment with the Fairview card and the, um, his party card the uh, happiness card, the, the men that surround and support him that are his 
su his supporters and advisors, his cabinet, or you know that sort of thing. So I see him being brought down by secret services that are within his own party. Now the final card that I pulled out was the F6 card. And I pulled that out with specifically once I, you know, I, I was reading now for this presidential election when I when I asked for this card and I and I asked based specifically about our economy. Because I wanted to end on some sort of a positive note. And it did say that we will during his reign that we will have an unexpected tr positive turn in our economy. And it will seem almost unexpected, like a stroke of luck, like he, like, but he'll make a, he, I also got, I'm sorry, I didn't mention it earlier, and I'm not going to go back through the dynamics of how I derived this information, but I remember seeing in these cards that um, this could be due to investments that he makes for the country but it's derived through insider knowledge. So that's an illegal way to do things, right? So, but it benefits, behooves the country in the end economically. His schemes will behoove the country economically in the end. But I see kind of, um, I see kind of a ruin, potential for ruin in the first year. This isn't how I interpreted this reading the first time, kind of seeing it like that now. So let's see how it all unfolds, guys. It's going to be interesting. This is going to definitely exciting to watch. So thanks for tuning in. I hope I didn't offend anyone. This is just my musings on a rainy Friday afternoon, guys. Donald Trump, our new president. God bless America. We don't need to keep it we don't need to make it great again. We just need to keep it great. Okay? Bye.